internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I have another guest online, and I've interviewed him before, but now he's branding himself. So, is he there, Swami G? I'm here, Brad. Good to see you. <laughs> yes, you didn't, have, you didn't have that orange brand before, did you? I always had the orange brand. I did, yes. Did you really? Because I didn't... St- uh, the uh, Jaws have Cowboy? Yes. Uh, well, when I came back, when I was recognized as a shaman in the Ecuador rainforest, People started calling me Cowboy Swami Shaman because I had the cowboy oh. hat and I was a Swami, so then that was my first okay. nickname. Because I remember your orange brand before, but you weren't wearing the hat. So now you got the hat going on, and I think that's a cool brand because on the internet you can get confused with a lot of other people that are involved with meditation, which is a plethora. That's right. So it's cool that starting off with a ten dollar word. <laughs> yes, I like that word. It's, there's a lot of it. <laughs> it's very plethoric. So let's, uh, I know we've done this before, but if people ha- are new and they haven't seen some of these things, if you could let us know where you live and uh, your family life and all that kind of stuff and get to know kind of more about you. Sure, Brad. I live upstate New York, about two hours from, I think, Woodstock is the last time we connected when you were in the Woodstock area. Or yeah. Cello, you were up in this area. I'm about three hours from New York City up in the, the cow country. It's lovely up here. And I'm a monk, I'm, so I'm married to God and um, love life. And you know, my mission is to bring light and love and um, hope, heart to everybody. Perfect. And you use that keyword, that word heart. I got that. Heart. Heart. That's cool. We'll be talking about that because we chatted a little bit earlier and we did some of that stuff, like I mentioned, with my friend Damon in uh, Asheville. Right. So, so uh, just knock out. What is it that you do? In my opinion, I th- or I think you shamanism, mediumship, and the meditation part. But you, I'm assuming you do yoga too, right? Yeah, yoga. Well, there's you know how you define yoga. Yes, I do yoga every day for physical needs to keep me flexible. Uh, I don't do yoga for um, more than I need. Let's be that right. I don't do it for more than I need. Do it until I, everything is. Every, okay, so this is a great beginning. This is a great foray into the whole, how, my view of spirituality. Yeah. Meditation, yoga. It, we have to, we will, I think we want to be careful not to get into it for its own sake, unless, of course, it's a profession. But to meditate more than you, meditation is to enlighten you, to help you, your heart open, to have a more rewarding life. But if you spend too much time meditating, you're, you're avoiding the rest of your life. That's, you miss the point of, meditation same thing with yoga etc etc eat healthy but you know if, if you become fanatical about it then every once in a while yeah gotta, you yeah. you remind me a lot of my friend patrick patrick weisman he's a yoga instructor and also teaches meditation here locally in minneapolis and and he calls the the, the trend of yoga now more like nazi yoga because it's so aggressive and com- competitive and all that and he likes just more the the uh, ohm Listen to your body. Let your body tell you what it wants to do, yeah. and it never fails. It really doesn't. Um, uh, totally. I'm not a big advocate of that no pain, no gain kind of thing. I think if you got pain, it's telling you to slow down a little bit. My yeah. motto, Brad, is no pain, no pain. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. I like that. So uh, since last we've talked, was are there any new programs or anything that you've developed as far as like uh, with your meditation program, something like that, something new and cutting edge? Yes, I've taken all my four decades of teaching meditation and I've said, okay, there are still people after four decades who tell me when I meet them, I can't meditate. I can't get thoughts out of my mind. I can't sit like a pretzel. I can't sit perfectly still. Is it? You know have to do that. And I've been saying this for 40 years. I said, all right, let me make this really, really simple. And I'm teaching a very, very beginner's meditation with advanced results. So anybody can meditate. There's all kinds of meditations. What I'm offering, there, there's this wonderful ancient meditation that I learned in India and so many people have learned from India and China and Tibet and all that. And we're in a new age. 
and the world evolves. And we're getting, as you probably know, new information all the time. The world is speeding up. We need a meditation for the speeded up world. We need a meditation in the world. If we're, if we're getting stressed out at work or something, we can't say, oh, let me go back home for an hour and a half and meditate and do yoga, and then I'll come back and I'll get my stress out. We need ways. Why can't we have ways to just blink our eyes and feel better to get the stress out? And mm-hmm. that's what I'm offering in this beginner's meditation and everything I do, the, the shamanic energy healing, you know, in, in an instant. It's all through the heart, though. So I know that there's a lot of stuff that's happened with technology where people are using technology. Like I use that Insight Timer app. And you okay. don't you don't need that, but sometimes people use it because you know it makes things a little easier. And um, are you familiar with uh, brain core therapy? Mm, I'm what, familiar with EEG things. Yeah, what it does is it kind of retrains your brain to think different. So uh, I worked with a guy in, in Asheville, and he sold me this little machine. That what it does it has um, uh, binaural beats or the different hertz going on, whether it be the alpha, the data, or delta, or all that kind of stuff. And then right. it's got these glasses that put on, and these lights blink at this time. Yeah. So isn't that what you're like? You just got that mentioning how we need to think a little bit differently. When you meditate, kind of puts you into a neutral place and allows the neurons to kind of rewire themselves to be able right. to work faster because right. people moved yeah. slower before. Right, right. <laughs> okay. So I have those kinds of glasses. I make my own. I on my one of my websites. I sell a whole bunch of different EEG. Uh, MP3s, theta waves, alpha waves, theta, mm-hmm. delta waves, beta wave. So I believe in all of that. However, more than that, I believe in our hearts and our right. connection. Whole and yeah, you, you and, don't need all those machines. I mean, we you I use them. I do. I use. I mm-hmm. put, I go to sleep with those theta delta wave things all the all, a lot of nights, and um, just because it gives leverage, it just it's like combing your hair. It's combing your brain waves. Got it. Let's talk a little bit about the heart-based meditation because, I, like I mentioned, I did a little bit of this with Damon. And it's very interesting in that um, when I was talking, because I'm a Gemini, so I've got this you know, split thing going on. And I think, well, if you're not thinking about the heart, you're thinking about the head, right? And he was teaching me that, no, if you think about the heart, the head is not relevant. So, Because I was trying to learn how to take the information in and then bypass the head. But it's not bypassing the head because when you're focusing on the heart, the head doesn't really exist. You go direct to the heart center. Is that correct? Yep. Trying to bypass, that's the brain telling you to bypass. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's a catch-22 kind of thing, right? You feel that's, that's what, you, what we feel is our truth. That's all we know. This mm-hmm. is what I feel. You and, know, I feel somebody's, like mother feels my child's in trouble. How does she know that? She the, just knows the intuitive it. thing. Now that kind of goes into the whole concept of the the strength of the heart and how far it resonates. So you, have you dealt in some of that uh, heart math stuff with Greg Braden? Yes, I have tried mm-hmm. that machine. Also, those kinds of things for me. Uh, anything that I have to work on the bio, I forgot what they're called, to lower my stuff, that just never worked. I've tried a bunch well, of Well, as, aside from the machine, I'm just saying that the, uh, the stuff that I learned with the, the, yeah, the concept of the heart radiates much farther out than the brain does, from what yeah. I understand. Like the brain's got like a few feet and the heart goes out like six or eight or something like that as far as... The my, my experience, my feeling is purely from the heart. And, and this is what I got when I was in the Amazon rainforest. But we're doing an ayahuasca ceremony with a shaman, and the spirit just came down from the sky and just blew into my heart and cleared me out. Wow. And ever since then, I've been. That's when I got my instant energy healing through the heart meditation stuff going. And the heart somehow it knows everything. It connects to everything. It's caring, uh, but it's and it's caring beyond not this kind of caring. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, you. You should be a responsible person. That's all true, but the heart is just pure caring. Well, isn't caring. The, isn't the heart the first thing that kind of starts getting developed in the womb? I, I'll I'll go with you on. I'll. I think I, it I don't is. have to study these things too deeply. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. It's a lot of this stuff I don't really study either. It's just hearsay kind of stuff, and I find it intriguing. Uh, these different methods that things happen. Like this is just thing came to my head, but. This uh, little lamp back here, you can kind of see it. It has colors to it. It changes colors. It's a, it's a diffuser for essential oils. 
Right. And the, the, we turned it on and I started watching the colors and it turns out they're the chakra colors in the right order as they come through. They recycle. It's kind of cool that the thing does a chakra color. So that's where my brain goes with all these coincidental stuff. You know, it's when we can express ourselves better than words in music, in poetry, in art, things that don't really have words to them. How is it we can touch another person or touch ourselves? When we hear a certain song mm -hmm. or a certain melody, that's really where I'm going with the heart thing. This is what, to me, is Okay, that's heart. that's so cool because just this morning on Facebook, someone said something about the healing of music, the healing yeah. healing powers of music. And and I they, they were talking more about that song resonates with me because when I was in high school, I dated this girl and da-da-da-da. And I commented on there about its vibratory uh, elements of the music, of uh, right. more the the... Jonathan Goldman toning kind of stuff. Right, right. Or Tibetan bowls. Yeah, exactly. Got one of those back here too. <laughs> so before I ask my, my favorite why question, why don't you share with us how to get a hold of you? I'm assuming you can just kind of Google the Orange Cowboy and you can find you. <laughs> it's the orangecowboy.com. <laughs> Actually, it's Orange Cowboy, not the orangecowboy.com. And you'll find one of my websites and my books and my courses. I do mediumship, uh, group mediumship, course, group meditations. I do them on the web for, for folks. So if you have a group, we'll just do one of these kinds of webinars. Or you could fly me out to your place and do it out wherever. Oh, yeah. We should uh, talk about doing something like that uh, either in here in Minneapolis or I'm trying. What I'm doing these interviews, I'm expressing to people that I have an interest in doing something in Tulum, Mexico or Costa Rica or Bali. So awesome. maybe there's a retreat or something we could all collaborate on and pull some energy together. And make it yeah, I'll go to all, any of those places. All of them. Let's do all of them. Why not? All of them. Let's, that's right. Let's do them all. Yes. Let's not, do them it's all. not an either not. or world, is it? So here's my favorite question. That's the big why question. Why are you doing this? Why aren't you doing like, uh, why aren't you like a rodeo star, senior cowboy? Why are you doing this yoga meditation shaman stuff? Because the bull is safer over here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know, it's a great question because um, I do little bits of everything. I, I make some of my videos. I write some music. I uh, publish books. I write books. This is it for me. This is the, my core. You know, it's it, it's been here since I was born, and it's the only thing that's never left me. And yeah. when you know, when you get those times when your world just crashes down on you and you're totally wiped out, this is what's left. Are we connected on Facebook, you and I? I think I liked your page, but I'm not sure if we're personally on our personal pages. I'll, I'll double check your, what are you, Magic Brad? Or? Yeah, or you can just go to followmagicbrad.com and you'll see my, all my social media. But I'd like to see if I can connect you with my friend Patrick. You guys are, they seem very common. Yeah, sounds great. Okay. Yeah, the more connections, the better. Yes. Alrighty mm -hmm. then. Well, I appreciate you taking the time and maybe we'll do something else down the road. If, uh, if you ever have a new program you're looking to launch, just get a hold of me. I like, like I said, I like to do these things spontaneously and then prop them out to the universe and see what happens. We'll definitely do that. Great to see you again, Brad. Okay. Thank yeah. you, Swami G. The Orange Cowboy. Peace. Yeah.